The Way Home or Face the Fire by Ja. The Survival Plan for All Human Plus Beings. Chapter 6 Abraham, Lot, Sodom, and Gomorrah. It is very sad that after working so hard to become a man over thousands of years and finally making it, that they then find out that it is much harder to be a man and they try to go backwards and they are readily accepted and welcomed back by women. A queer is a relatively new man who decides that being a man is too difficult, so decides to try to be a woman in a man's body. Some even go to the extent of having themselves surgically castrated voluntarily, Deuteronomy 23.1, and they will be punished accordingly. Deuteronomy 23.1, He that is wounded in the stones, or hath his privy member cut off, shall not enter into the congregation of the I Am. You cannot go backwards. You are all under the shadow of the death sentence. Your only escape is forward. John 3.18 He that believeth him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the identity of the only incarnated Son of God. It was easy to destroy the queers, sodomites, homosexuals in Sodom, because they were all concentrated in one place, and God could easily remove Lot and his family and then destroy Sodom without hurting any innocent people. Today, it is so widespread and intermixed with, quote, normal society that God cannot blast just them without hurting too many innocent, question mark, people. So he has sent AIDS, Leviticus 20.13, Romans 1.27. Leviticus 20.13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And likewise, also the man, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one towards another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat, aids. Open your eyes and see the signs, and turn around before it's too late. Unfortunately, AIDS has also attacked other non-believers, too. And once it has attacked enough innocent, question mark, people, perhaps man will revert to making homosexuality slash sodomy illegal again and live by God's laws and not his own unlawful ones. Gomorrah was destroyed because of its promiscuity, perversion, and sexual exhibitionism and because it was controlled by sexual instead of love values. It's very sad that people don't know the difference between sex and love. One million tons of sex will never equal one ounce or gram of love. Unfortunately, millions of people spend lifetimes looking for love and, because they don't know the difference, they mistakenly find sex. When they don't get the spiritual satisfaction that they are seeking, they try harder and mistakenly think that if they get enough sex, it will bring them spiritual, real satisfaction, and it will not. It is a vicious circle. There are three kinds of sex. 1. Sex, pure animal lust. 2. Sex with feeling. And 3. Love. No amount of the first two combined will ever equal the third. How can anyone expect to find love when they are looking in all the wrong places? Look up, not down. How can you expect to see what is above when you are always looking downwards? Love is spiritual and sex is animal. When the soul controls the animal, uses it for the benefit of another in true love, and giving instead of taking, the act of making love becomes the nearest thing to heaven on earth. The loving of two spirits, both in control of their animal bodies, and being totally unselfish, wanting only to give pleasure and love to their partner, asking nothing in return, uniting both bodies and souls as much as possible within human limitations, is the most heavenly experience possible on earth, and is, quote, out of this world. Gomorrah was destroyed at the same time as Sodom, with a weapon so sophisticated that it is beyond human comprehension, and is nothing like silly, crude human weapons, including nuclear weapons. The weapons on earth are crude children's toys that go bang, and can kill human animals. The ability to destroy a planet, nuclear weapons, is insignificant, compared to the power of the force. God does not need crude nuclear weapons. If he just thinks it, everyone is dead. Who do you think decides when a person's body will die, and then makes it happen? 
You need not be terrified by nuclear weapons because they cannot kill your soul, which is the real you. Once you have 100% faith in God, you will fear nothing and no one. Do not be afraid of those who can kill your body. Fear only those who can kill your body and soul, the real you, with the fire. Matthew 10.28 And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hellfire. In other words, do not fear humans, or human death, or the devil. Fear only that you may be found unworthy on the last day, and that your soul will be killed in the fire by God and the Lamb, Prince Michael, Christ. God could not make sex unlawful only fornication because of the need for human reproduction and because he wanted man and woman to become one and help each other to create a stable, loving relationship and family unit into which children could be born. The children could then grow up in love-filled and harmonious surroundings with a balanced outlook on life, having a solid foundation on which to build in their adult life. Having been taught already the values of love, God, instead of values of this world, mammon, by their parents' example, in both words and deeds, they could then go out into the world with a balanced mentality and teach their own children from their own experience and perpetuate the process. Knowing that promiscuity would lead to all kinds of problems and animal instead of spiritual values, God destroyed Gomorrah and left the story of its destruction as a deterrent to future generations. He also left a legacy to remind the world to be faithful and to keep his laws. The legacy to keep people on the right path was called gonorrhea, gomorrhea. Promiscuity became more widespread and so did gonorrhea and God has sent progressively stronger warnings to try to keep people on the straight and narrow path. Syphilis, nonspecific urethritis, Vietnam rose, and now herpes. He cannot blast the promiscuous now without hurting innocent people, and, in any case, the last day is so close now that he doesn't need to bother. Herpes is now turning many people away from promiscuity, as it was intended to do, and AIDS even more so. Doctors and pharmacists will try to find cures that will help people to keep on being promiscuous, thereby helping Satan instead of God. The Mound of Venus, leading to the sacred temple of love, which must not be desecrated and or defiled by strangers. Venereal disease sent by Venus. Open your eyes. 100% female equals half lady, perfect wife and mum. 100% male equals half gentleman, perfect husband and dad, the perfect one. Truth and honor in thought, word, and deed. Death, human, before dishonor of the soul.